Hey everyone, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com and in this video I'm going to uh, basically start building out my uh, Dragiri Warband. Um, so we've got the, I'm, I'm going to basically start building all the different slaves in here. Um, I'm not going to build out the uh, Soul Warden just yet. Um, so basically what we have is we have the uh, Slave Taskmaster, the uh, Spear Slaves, the Shard Slaves, and the uh, Sling Slaves. So, starting off with this guy, which is our Slave uh, Taskmaster, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to build him out first, and um, so he's going to go in a base like this, and I'm just going to build that out. I'm going to I'm going to glue him to the base. Uh, for now, but eventually what I plan on doing is I'm actually going to use uh, one of these bases. This is um, the uh, from Dark Age Groundworks. Um, I'll show you guys how these work. They're basically clear ice um, base covers. And... So basically what you do is you take your standard base and they just kind of, you glue them in like that. So they've attached there and they got this see-through, kind of an ice see-through look to them. So um, that's going to go like that and then he's going to essentially get glued to that. But um, So I'm going to cut off this metal part at the bottom here, the little slot that goes in here. Uh, I'm going to cut that off later, and I'm just going to glue him straight to the uh, the surface of this. But um, for the time being, what I'm going to do is because obviously I have to prime him and paint him. If I if I glued him to the bottom of this um, while I'm painting him, I might get paint on this, and then I won't be able to get it off. So I want to keep this uh, this clear see-through look, so it kind of looks like a, a block of ice. Uh, so for um, for now, while I'm painting him, I'm just going to glue him in here. Um, I'm going to do, you know, build him out, glue him, and uh, do a full paint on him. And then I'll just remove, you know, pull him off of here. I'll cut off the uh, the metal. And when he's finished, you know, when he's fully painted, I'll just uh, stick him onto there. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously uh, with all these guys, I'm going to clean up some of the, uh, the flashing, some of the extra bits and stuff. So as you can see, there's a little bit of... Um, there's like this little piece of metal here that doesn't belong, right? So all these little pieces, I'm just going to use my um, cutters and I'm just going to trim that off like so. And when you guys are doing this, just keep in mind that these things are pretty sharp. So uh, try not to drop them on the floor because later on, if you're walking around, you're going to step on them and it uh, they can, they're pretty sharp. So. Um, so here's, here's his whip, as you can see there's some extra, um, extra pieces of metal here, so I'll go ahead and remove those as well. And while you're doing this, just make sure that you Don't cut off a piece of the actual whip. So there's a couple small pieces here. That piece right there I need to cut off. And that'll be it. Um, and basically how his whip attaches is like this. So it just glues on like that. It's a pretty cool looking model. Like it's got a, that whip is gonna look nice when it's actually painted. And then we've got his head here, which basically just 
Uh, glue's on like that. I know it's hard to see here on the camera, but so that's the uh, Taskmaster. So he's going to be built like that. And then the actual slaves, I basically laid them out here. So there's a, a few different types of poses that they kind of come in. Some of them are facing this way. Um, and then some of them have um, slightly different poses. They're, they're facing this way. And then some of them have kind of a different stance like that. So overall, you get uh, 13 slaves in these different poses, and I'm pretty sure you can um, mix and match, you know, whichever stance you want with whatever type of slave it is. Um, I don't think it really matters which uh, which ones you make your sling slaves or shard slaves or the um, uh, spear slaves. So um, just to show you guys with the spear slaves. As I mentioned in previous videos, you'll, some of the spear, spears will come a little bit, they won't be exactly straight, but this metal is pretty malleable, so it's, you know, it's pretty easy to straighten that out. When you're cleaning these out, um, you want to make sure that you don't cut these off, like um, these ones, for these arms, you cut them off of, you know, this little piece of metal. You cut them off and you separate them. But for these, uh, for the spear slaves, you want to keep the two arms joined. And basically, how they go together is, see if I can get the right angle here. So they basically just fit in like so. So you don't need to cut these arms off or anything like that. You want to keep them together. Um, and with just a little bit of glue, those arms will stay in there nicely. So it kind of gives you a nice, that nice um, dynamic pose with, you know, one arm kind of on an angle backwards and the other one in the front. And of course, these fit into the... Uh, you know, we put them into the stand. Some of these are actually, like I just realized, this one is a little bit longer than the slot. So I'm going to have to trim that a bit to get them to fit in there properly. Uh, some of them fit in quite easily. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just go through all the pieces. And you can see there's a little bit of, um, there's a bit of, flashing here so I'm going to cut that off. Um, I'm going to go through, e through each of the pieces uh, for the arms as well. I'm going to cut off these little extra pieces, um, fix that up. And um, actually what I'm going to do before I even go uh, and do that is I'm going to just take these and um, just wash them with soap and water just so that the glue stay, uh, sticks better to the metal. Um, so I'll just give them a quick rinse um, just in case there's any residue on top of on the metal. Uh, so I'm going to wash those out and then I'm going to um, cut these off, trim any flashing, and I'm going to glue the uh, glue them to their bases and attach the arms. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to come back and uh, show you guys what they look like. So I'll be back in, uh, in a few minutes. Hey guys, just a couple of points. Um, as I'm building these out, um, I noticed a few things. So, um, first thing I noticed is on some of these guys, if you look at the um, this little tab here, um, this tab here, the height of it as compared to the base is actually a little bit... Um, it's a little bit taller than the base. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera here. It's not quite flush. So essentially what that means is if you glue it in there and you put the um, put the miniature down on a hard surface, what's going to happen is that this part here is going to be on the ground and the base is going to be kind of hovering about a millimeter or two 
above. So what will happen is that the if you know if you put pressure on here, it's going to move it left and right. So we don't want that. We want to make sure that the base is what's on the ground or on the on your surface, and this just sits on top. So it's not very hard um, to fix this problem. Basically, all I do is I just took um, this is a uh, soft metal, so it's pretty easy to just trim this down a little bit. So essentially all I do is this, just kind of cut off about two millimeters. Just like that. And just while you're cutting that last piece, if you, if you don't, um, if you do this, you'll probably send it flying across this, um, the room. So I'm going to just keep my finger on it just so. doesn't go flying otherwise this piece here will go flying across the side of the room all right so now you can see that when we put it in there there is no it's not sticking out past the base the uh, the height of it is perfect so that will allow me to glue that in there and then the piece is going to sit on the base it's not going to um, it's not going to be sitting on the actual metal when you're when you have it glued. So that's one thing that uh, you may need to do with yours is just trim this a little bit. It only takes a couple of seconds to do that. Um, the other thing I noticed while I was putting these a couple of these together, so I've got a couple of them uh, put together. Here's this guy and here's another one here. So um, one of the things I noticed with these guys is that when you get the arms, they come joined like this. And at first, I thought that um, that these two arms were for one um, one model. So kind of like the spear slaves, I thought that this was a left and right arm. But when I looked at the actual, um, if you look here, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but if you look at it, so this is an arm, and it's got like a, a sack in, where you have the... Um, uh, the crystals in it or the shards and then you have um, another one here with kind of a sling now if we look at the actual um, book let's see if I can bring this over closer here if you look at the book um, you can see that in this guy in his left arm he's got kind of the uh, the sling there and in his right arm, he has a crystal. So sling and crystal. And then here we have the other guys. So in his left arm, he's got the sack. You can see it probably better in this one. So he's got the sack in the uh, his left. Is that his left? Yes, that's his left. And um, and he's got he's holding one of the um, shards in his right hand. So left hand is where the, um, the sack, where he's holding the, uh, the different shards in it. So there's the left hand, and then this guy, he has in his left hand the sling. So if we look over here, there's the sling, which is we know is the left hand, and this is the, uh, the shard bag, which is left hand as well. So what that means is that this piece has got both of our left hands, and if we look at this one here, it's got both the right hands. So when they put the pieces together, they didn't. it's not like these to go in one model and these to go in the other one. You have to kind of pay attention and uh, uh, combine them properly. So um, just something I noticed while I was putting them together. Um, so I've got a couple of these guys finished here, put together. As you can see, so this guy is, um, this is a sling slave. So he's got the sling there, and this is the shard slave here. And as you can see, I'm going to have to trim this guy. The bottom part here is going to have to get trimmed because he, he, his. Uh, this is a soft surface here, but if I was on a hard surface, he would not be balancing. He'd be basically, and what'll happen is, he'll just come off. the The glue will come off of there. So uh, I'm going to trim that. This one is. Um, this one I've already trimmed, so if you look at it from the side, it's pretty much, he's sitting flat.
they sit much nicely, much, much, much more nicely when you trim that. So, uh, yeah, just a couple things as I'm building this out, just wanted to uh, share with you guys and um, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I just finished building all the slaves and the um, taskmaster. So let's take a look at what the, uh, see if we can get a close up of each of the units. So here's the taskmaster. I really like this model. The um, He's got this cool scowl on his face. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, probably not. He's got this mad scowl on his face and um, and I really like that whip. It's got like a, it really has like a flow to it. It looks like a real whip. Well, I mean, right now it's metallic, so obviously it doesn't look that like that. But once I paint it, I think it's going to look really cool. So can't wait to paint this guy. Um, then we've got our shard slaves. Um, so there's three of these. And then... Um, then we've got our sling slaves. Four of these. So they have these sling on their left arms. And then we've got our spear slaves. And there are six of these that come in the warband. So we've got them all here. And I really like the, the way these guys look. They have this, um, the pose that they have is pretty sinister looking. And once again, I think these guys are going to look a lot better once they're actually uh, um, painted and uh, so it doesn't all just look like one color. All right, so that's pretty much it. I mean, we've got, um, I've got all of them built now. Um, what I did is I actually did go through and I actually trimmed every single one of them. Like as far as the um, this bottom part here that I was mentioned earlier, I did trim every single one of them. Um, at first I was going to just trim some of them, but then I realized that uh, um, they just weren't they just weren't sticking to the base uh, really well when the bottom part was too too long. So I've got this big pile of um, I got this big pile of metal over here. Um, with all the trimmings and it was actually pretty easy to do just uh, all you need is a pair of uh, cutters flat cutters like this and it cuts through it like butter so pretty easy to do so all of them I trimmed the uh, the bottoms and uh, they, they, they just stick a lot better that way so that's pretty much it for these guys. I finished building them. Uh, next step is I'm going to prime them. I'm not sure if I'm going to prime them black or white yet. I think I'll prime them black. I want the bases to be black. So, um, and the colors are going to be pretty dark. So I think I'll stick with uh, black. Um, I'll start working on that in the next video. So I'll do the priming in the next video and start working on uh, painting them. And then after that, I basically just uh, have this guy to build. This is going to be fun to build as well, the Soul Warden. But I'm going to save him for last. What I'll probably do is I'll, um, uh, now that these guys are finished building, I'm going to uh, get them primed and um, maybe paint a couple of them just to kind of get a color scheme going. And then um, I'll come back and start uh, building, building out this guy. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below and um, I'll be happy to answer them. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.